when this story initially came out, um, I was going to do a video on it, but then I decided not to because I wanted to wait and see what would happen. Now, a little bit of backstory about this. Um, a police officer in Dallas shot a 15-year-old black boy outside a house, a high school house party, and this happened on Saturday. And the article I'm reading from, it says the police department admitted Monday that it initially released incorrect information about the shooting. And that's something that's surprising because a lot of times police departments and police officers won't admit when they've been wrong. So that's something I'm not going to say that's comforting, but it's a little settling. It says officers broke up the house party in response to reports of underage drinking. One officer then fired a rifle into a vehicle as it was driving away from the party, fatally injuring the front seat passenger. John Edwards died from a fatal rifle wound to the head, according to the Dallas County Medical Examiner's Office. The freshman, mes the freshman Mesquite High School student athlete's death was ruled a homicide. Balch Springs Police Chief Jonathan Haber said he misspoke earlier when he said the car was driving aggressively toward the two officers. He didn't misspoke. He tried to basically go along with the other what the other officer was saying, basically corroborate his story, but it didn't work out that way, as you can see from the uh, title of the article and what's happening. Haber said body camera footage of the incident showed the car was driving forward away from the officers. Now, the officer initially said that they were coming toward him. That's why he shot in the car, because they were coming towards him. He says, I take responsibility for that, Haber said. The officer's behavior did not meet our core values. Police were looking for the owners of the house when shots were allegedly heard in the area, creating chaos before Edwards was shot. Haber declined to confirm whether any shots were confirmed to have been fired or whether the boys in the car were armed. They didn't know. He just fired off rounds because the car was moving. They were trying to drive away. The officer fired three shots into the car. So my thing is none of these boys were armed. So he just decided that he was just going to fire off shots into the car just because. You know, there was nothing saying that the boys were being belligerent with him or saying that they were, you know, not cooperating or whatever. My thing is, if they're driving off, obviously they're scared. Edward's 16-year-old brother and their three friends were detained at the scene and taken away from Jordan's wooden, wood, wounded body to the Dallas County Sheriff's Department, where they were eventually interviewed as witnesses. The boys were not arrested or charged. What would they have been arrested or charged for? Underage drinking? Come on now. Edward, Edwards was transported to Baylor University Hospital, where he later succumbed to his injuries. The Dallas County Sheriff's Department is conducting a criminal investigation into the shooting in tandem with the Public Integrity Unit from the Dallas County District Attorney's Office. The six-year veteran of the Balch Springs Police Force who fired the fatal shot was placed on administrative leave but has not been charged or arrested. So this was before this article. So this article is saying he, an arrest warrant was issued for Roy Oliver, who has since been fired from the Balch Springs Police Department in the suburban Dallas in the death of 15-year-old Jordan Edwards last weekend. The Dallas County Sheriff's Office cited evidence suggesting Oliver intended to cause serious bodily injury and commit an act clearly dangerous to human life that caused the death. So I'm going to assume that his charges are going to be considered a hate crime since that was his intention all along, to shoot into the car and try to kill someone. Mainly because these boys were black. They were no threat to him. No black boy or black man that has ever been shot and killed by a police officer has ever been a threat, especially a black boy. This boy is a high school student. And that's the thing that really pisses me off. Haber met with Edward's parents twice since his death, expressing condolences on behalf of the department and the city. The Edwards family's lawyer will meet with investigating parties this week on their behalf. We are declaring war on bad policing, Mary said in a news conference held on behalf of the family. 
I know a lot of people will consider this a victory, but I wouldn't say, you know, bring out the party hats and the balloons and everything like that just yet because this is only one of only a handful of cases where the officer was actually charged. This does not happen often enough. And the crazy thing about it, okay, the officer involved in the Alton Sterling shooting was not charged. However, there was footage of what happened. This incident, however, there was no footage of it happening. There was no video. There was nothing. And yet he was charged. That doesn't make any sense to me. All of these officers who are caught on camera killing someone, Philando Castile, Mike Brown, and Alton Sterling, and there's many more. None of them were charged in their murders. That's why I say we can't jump for joy just yet because there's still going to be incidences where officers are going to get off. And the fact that all these other officers who got off, like they're put on paid leave. They still getting paid. This officer was fired, and that's great. However, like I said, it doesn't happen often enough. And it says, America throughout the country must figure out a way to police its citizens without killing them. Edward's family has not spoken publicly, wishing to grieve privately until after the funeral. They say Edward's body for the first time, they saw Edward's body for the first time late Monday night. A prayer vigil was held Monday night at the high school for the community. A funeral has not yet been scheduled. Now, granted, I know his parents are happy, but let me tell you right now, I'm going to be pissed as fuck if they say that they forgive this man for what the fuck he did to their child. That's one of the things that really pisses me off about black people. Y'all are so quick to forgive these white devils after they didn't kill your child or killed one of your relatives or someone close to you, but you can't forgive each other. That's a problem. Leave your comments and let me know what you think.